Hello, hello, we got Kenny Evans here, another car video. And this video is all about how to approach women to date. This one is obviously another popular topic, but very, very simple. <laughs> very simple. You know, you just go up to them and you say, hey, I would like to go out with you. When are you free? <laughs> but no, I mean, that's one way. But uh, you got to be more detailed, obviously. You got to read the social cues and she got to be giving you positive social cues in order to move forward with that. You know, but to break it down a little bit more um, precisely, you know, it's, 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 it's very simple. You know, I've discussed some of this in some previous videos where, of course, for me personally, I like to... Um, lead up with the compliment so that way they know what my intentions are you know when it comes to talking to them obviously you want to maintain eye contact as you go and you want to you know preferably have a smile you know even though it doesn't really matter if you walk up them, to them just kind of looking at them but you know the more that they're looking at you the more attracted they are so usually people you smile at them, they usually smile back. And if they don't, sure, their attraction may not be that high, but again, you could still kind of, you know, um, you could approach them still and you could convert that. You know, it just depends on you, really, you know, how, how good your game is. But, you know, when you're approaching, smile, look at them. After that, you know, you get there, you give a compliment, and then um, you ask. Is this a bad time to talk? They say, yes. You say, all right, cool. Thank you. And you move on. If they say no, say awesome. And you can um, then move forward and you ask for their name. And if they say their name, cool. You, you move forward, kind of continue flirting a little bit, talking. Let them know what you're all about and say, hey, you know, you look good. Yeah, I, th I like your personality. You, you know, I like the conversation, whatever you, you guys are doing, you know, at that moment. And say, hey, you know, I'd like to get to know you. You know, what's, give me your number. Or you can say, hey, take my number. You know, give me a call this certain time or whenever you you free. And so we can get together. Or <laughs> you can tell them to take your number and say, hey, you know, I'd like to uh, get to know you more casually or I'd like to hook up with you or I'd like to be a friend with benefits, whatever you're looking for. Or, of course, you say, hey, I'd like to get to know you get to, uh, really casually and just really get to know you and like to take you out sometime. When are you free? If you're really brave, set it, set up the date right then on the spot, you know, as opposed to getting the number, letting her call you and then, you know, um, setting up the date. But the date should only be for vetting the girl. It shouldn't be to get sex. If all you want is sex, you should let that be known from the beginning and promote that say hey you know i'm just looking to hook up with you casually not looking for anything serious no relationship no friendship just want to have you know get to know you casually hook up with you from time to time or looking for friends with benefits or looking for a fuck buddy you know or just want to have sex with you for the night you know and then maybe depending on how it goes we'll see how it goes from there you know you gotta let that be known up front and then you just let them know where you're at. And from there, you can move forward. You know what I mean? Once she gets your information, you let her know when to call you or just say, hey, give me a call whenever you're free or whenever you would like to get together you know, so we can hook up or have sex, whatever, however you want to phrase it. And then you go on about your day <laughs> and you do that to another girl. You know, it's all very simple. It's all very simple. You know, it takes courage, obviously. You got to believe 
that this woman will enjoy your time and that she'll want to talk to you and believe that she finds you attractive and that she would love to have sex with you, love to date you, whatever you're looking for. You have to believe and tell yourself that she would love to do that with you, you know? And of course, if this woman fails the name test, you move on. Say, hey, nice to meet you and move on and realize there are other women out here for you. Billions of women for you. But of course, in your area, thousands. <laughs> you will never run out of women to talk to for as long as you live. You know, and of course, you got to always have that abundance mindset. That is the most important thing because that's going to get you moving forward. You know, of course, obviously, like I said, believing that women like you and that you you find yourself attractive is also very important. But dealing with rejection, got to know how to deal with that. Deal with that for women who aren't interested or don't show you uh, positive social cues. You got to learn how to move on. You know, so you got to have that abundance mindset. Having that abundance mindset is going to make you uh, move forward faster and with less stress and less feeling of rejection because you realize that woman is not for you. You know, so obviously it's it's there's a lot of different ways to approach. You know, some people like to do the indirect. Say, hey, maybe we could go and, you know, go to a, a movie sometime. You know, and <laughs> do all that. You know, but one rule of thumb is movies are never good for dating. And this is a co Coach Corey Wayne rule of thumb. But it makes a lot of sense because if you go into a movie, all you're going to be doing is just sitting there eating and watching a movie. But you will not be able to really interact with the woman. You won't be able to really get to feel for her or understand her or be able to better very well because you're going to be watching the movie. And then at the end of the movie, I mean, sure, you could go out somewhere, you know, go get a bar, go to a bar or something or go to a restaurant. But then it's late. And then if you don't like the girl, you wasted two hours with the woman you, you who didn't really have a lot of high interest in you or you didn't have high interest in after really getting to know her. Because, again, dating is for vetting girls. It's not to prove yourself to her. She has to prove yourself, herself to you. That's the whole point of the date. But if you just want sex, don't go on a date. Or if you do, make sure it's something very cheap and very close to your house. Like a park. Don't pay for anything. Just go out to a park. Say you want to meet up kind of get some fresh air and just talk a little bit and again it's to vet her to see how good she is going to fit into your plans so and if she's showing hesitance or she's difficult or she's kind of short or she's negative cut her off move on move on don't waste your time you know what i mean don't waste your time you know what i mean so it is it's very important that you just realize that you have to be in control you have to be in control and sometimes hey you know things going well with the dating process you could have an instant date right when you meet the girls hey what are you doing right now oh nothing just kind of chilling say hey let's go to this let's go to starbucks or something or let's go to a, a, a bar or something just kind of talk and hang out a little bit after you've, you know, you've done the compliment and the no oriented question and the name test, if she passed all that and she's still following your leads and still showing you a lot of positive uh, signs of interest, you could have an instant date. Or, or even from further that, you could even go lead into <laughs> having sex with her. Go back to her place, go back to your place, whichever is more convenient. You know, so there's a lot of different ways to, to, to handle it. But the key is, whenever you're approaching, realize you are the you are the valuable one. She will love you. She would love to have sex with you. She would love to go out a day with you. She thinks you're fine. You know, it would be her loss if she doesn't want you. You got to keep that in mind. And as you approach, eye contact. See where her eyes are. 
If she's looking up, that means she might not see a lot of value. She's kind of snooting her nose to you. If she's looking to the left or right, still doing what she's doing, then you got to realize she says, yeah, you're right. You know, you're nothing too special. But, you, you know, you're, she's still open. But if she looks down, that means she may be, believe you might be higher value. She might think you're really attractive and she might be nervous. So that's a good sign. Or she looks down and back up and then, you know, off to the side again. That's a good. She's looking down. She may be nervous. So that's a good good sign that she has a high attraction for you. But, of course, you still got to go and move forward with that. You know what I mean? And, of course... Just because she may have high, had a high interest in you in the beginning doesn't mean she's going to have high interest in you during the interaction and after inter the interaction. So you got to maintain your, your masculine aura and frame and have a quick, you know, interaction. Let her know what you're there for and what you want. And, you know, if you're maybe at a bar or something, kind of lead her around. Get her to follow your lead, you know. It's all very important, and you got to make sure she's obedient and submissive. Remember, <laughs> remember this. Submissive and obedient women are sexy. There's no better women. I don't give a fuck how, how attractive a woman is. If she is not obedient, submissive, and making your life easier, cut her off. Those are the worst kind of women to have. You're only going to have stress and nonsense if you stick with her. Trust me, I've been there. You know what I mean? I've been there. So that's not what you want. You want to have easy, submissive, obedient um, women who follow your lead. Well, of course, you're attracted to. There's no better women in the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's something you got to always keep in mind. Go for women who are attractive, obviously, and who are making it easy for you. You know, and and then from there... You just, that's all up to you and you, the rest is up to you and you gotta, you know, just continue to do what you gotta do. You get that woman and then you get the next, you know, so that's all I got for y'all today. And, you know, I hope it was very useful and valuable to you, which I believe it will be. You know, all you gotta do is test it out and apply it, you know, and then see how it works for you, you know, which I believe and I actually, I know it will work very, very well for you. So, uh, again, if you found value in this video, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button to let you know when I upload more videos. And if you found extreme value, you know, I definitely appreciate if you guys would, um, you know, donate. You know, so no harm, no foul with that. But until next week, you guys, be safe, be well, peace.